Hello, it's Aga from Arvis Artist. Do you want to know more tricks related to the Unwrap UVW modifier? If so, you are in the good place, because today we'll be talking about mapping along this plane. This is the third part of the unwrapping series, so if you haven't watched the previous ones, I put the links in the corner. Ok, without any further ado, let's begin the part number 3. I've prepared a fragment of the road in the file. Let's apply the material of the asphalt first. I apply an UVW map modifier. You can notice that it doesn't help much, as if the texture fits one side, it doesn't fit others. So, this is the perfect example to use the Unwrap UVW modifier. And what's even more exciting, there is a simple and pleasant way to do this. Let me show you. Let's apply the Unwrap UVW modifier. To use the option I'm going to show you, you need to have polygons selected first. Otherwise, this option is not available. Now, use spline mapping. Here, we need to choose the spline along which we want to create our mapping. I've created the spline before, I've just copied the road and deleted the sweep modifier. So, let's pick the spline. Ok, you can notice that something was mapped, but it doesn't look good. We need to change one more option. We have to choose planar mapping. Here we go. You probably notice that it looks like it is mapped along the spline, but it's not the correct direction. In this case, we should adjust it. We can go to the material editor and adjust the bitmap, so we can rotate it by 90 degrees. Great, it looks almost perfect. And we can adjust the offset and tiling settings to adjust the mapping. But this is not a great way to do this as you may have this material applied to different objects and by changing the settings inside the material you're changing how the texture looks on all objects this uh, material is applied for. So let me show you a better way to do this and additionally I'll show you another great modifier. So let's go back to 3ds Max. Go back to 3ds Max and apply UVW X4 modifier. So what this modifier basically does, it gives you the possibility to adjust styling and offset in existing UVW coordinates. So first of all, we can start with rotating the map by 90 degrees. And now, by using the tiling and offset option, we'll adjust the scale and position of the mapping. I show you how the texture looks so it will be easier for you to understand how we need to adjust this. Okay. So we have these two lines each side at the edges of the map. First, I adjust the scale of the width. Then I move it to fit the road better. Ok, it looks good, but as you probably remembered, we should have a bit of space from the edges. So I scale down and move again. Ok, we've done this. I think we need a bit of adjustment in the length though. Let's change the U-tile parameter. Ok, I think something like this works great. You may ask me, great, but what if the line is not in the same position in the z-axis and the road is bumpy? Hmm, why not to test it? Let's do it now. I've prepared the object before as well. Let me unhide it. You can see that I have a line prepared as well. Let's assign the material. By the way, let me know in the comments if you like this technique and in which different situation do you think you can use it. Let's assign the Unwrap UVW modifier. Again. Remember to select polygons, and let's go use spline mapping again. P 
explain. And choose planner. UVW X firm. Rotate by 90 degrees. Actually, we can just copy this modifier from another one as these roads have the same width. Awesome, we just need to adjust the length. I want to show you one issue that you may have during the unwrapping process. So if you have, for example, some polygons selected inside the unwrap UVW modifier, the modifier on top of it doesn't work properly as it's assigned only to this one polygon. So if you have any issues like this, check this first. Okay, I'd like to show you the last example of spline mapping. Let's say we have a lucky bamboo for texture. We can also use the spline mapping this time. The same as previously, I've prepared spline as well. Let's assign the modifier. Pick spline. This time we leave cylinder mapping. If we have the preview like this, we can uncheck this option here. Also, we can change these lines display for thin or thick. You can notice that the texture is mapped along the spline we've chosen. Again, we can adjust it by using the UVW X4 modifier. Here, we will have to add another map, but we won't do this today. There is one more option. It may be helpful for you in some cases. You can select the edges and make same out of this. Next, go to Spline Mapping option. If you check this option, use Manual Sim. It will use the sim you created, not the automatic one. It may be useful if you want the texture sim to be in an exact place. Okay, actually, one more thing. In the configure panel, you can uncheck the peel sim option and the sims won't be visible in the viewport. Okay, now I told you everything I wanted. I hope you enjoyed this series and you're ready for your own unwrapping journey. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.